y'all welcome welcome back to another episode of not your average accountant podcast with your girl ap that's me <laughs> fucking robotussin <laughs> that's stuck in my head all right y'all how y'all doing i'm back i'm back i'm back right before this day we have off so you know let's get into it um i'm glad i took a picture of it Sorry for smacking y'all. Y'all. Oh, my BBW. Okay. Oh, I'm going to put on a different list. It's cool. I remember. Um, So, my BBW, y'all. Black Business of the Week. Um, When I say black, that means anybody with some melanin in them. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm shouting out Lulu uh, Certified. Lulu, she has some crystals. She makes jewelry with crystals and she sells different crystals. You can see my ring, my rose quartz ring. These are my carnelian um, earrings that I'm wearing. That's the shape of a vulva and a vagina. <laughs> it's so cute. Like, and it matched my hair. And it's like, you know, I'm a Leo, Ra, and Amber stands for. Um, I ain't gonna stand for it, but amber is, you know, it's like a fossil resin and it's this color too, you know, close to this color. So I just feel like it was for me. And I've been looking at this um earrings when I first saw her at the Healing Girl season event. She was one of the vendors and that's how I found out about her. It was like I, I didn't get anything that day. I was like, I gotta get something the next time that, you know, she's at an event. Um, so yes, yeah, so I went to go to an event that she was at because I was going to a different one, but then I saw that there was like literally down the street. So I was like, okay, let me go over there to get my freaking carnelian, uh, crystals. Cause it was just speaking to me. I kept picking at it over and over again. And you know, I was rose quartz is my thing, you know, rose, rosette. And it was just, yeah. So it was perfect. And then like, I love her energy and her energy is just so warm and welcoming and like, yeah, it was like, and I just love how she cleansed the um, crystals, her jewelry when she gives it to you. And yeah, so shout her out. Go look at her stuff. Um, and her Instagram is uh, Lulu underscore certified. So that's L-U-L-U underscore certified. C-E-R-T-I-F-I-E-D. Check her out. And then, y'all, the other event that I was going to that was next to her, um, other event that she was at was um, a smoking, a uh, puff and paint party. So, it was so fun. Oh, I should go get my um my thingy. Maybe I can just take a picture and show you a picture of it on here. But, um, so, yeah. So, it was a great event. It was hosted by Toke and Poke. Which I would think was crazy. I didn't even know who was like um, hosting the event or like presenting the event. I went be- because of another vendor. I guess I can shout them out too. Black Business of the Week too. Um, but yeah, so let me see if I can find them too. Um, but yeah, so oh yeah, so I went to this event because it was another vendor that I like, and so I don't mind supporting, especially if it's black like Issa Rae said um so yeah so let me find them too but the uh, puff and paint was hosted by token poke and um so that was hosted and I was just I do so awesome like I didn't know what to expect when I walked in I just really wanted to be in a atmosphere full of everybody else to be smoking and chilling and just be on that vibe y'all know I like to paint and do my little my um my special my magical medicine in paint um so their instagram the people who host the puff and paint is token poke houston so that's t-o-k-e-n-p-o-k-e-h-o-u but yeah they was so freaking awesome like the event had so many other vendors i had this one lady had incense that i really love like oh my gosh it was just so good Hold on, i'm trying to look at the vendor Oh, jellyfish. Of course, I can't remember. Let me show y'all my thing. This is what I... Oh, let me see. Y'all don't see no other pictures. <laughs> this is what I painted. This is what they... They had, like, three different um outlines you could choose from. And, of course, I chose this beautiful lady right here. This definitely look like me with my wine and shoe. 
Um, so yeah, so it was really fun. Um, and then the lady, I had got some. What did I get? Oh, I think it was some eucalyptus. That was just so damn good that I got. And it's just like. I didn't even have to burn it yet. It was just so strong and like fresh. And I was just like, oh, that is so awesome. So I got something from her. What do you, I got some incense. <laughs> um, and then the other people who I went for was Jellyfish. They are a great uh, BBW as well. And I found them when I went to a where did I initially find them oh my gosh I can't remember because I know I had went to the pool this pool party but I don't think that's when I found them or maybe that's when that's when I did find them maybe so I think that's when I had found when I went to this pool party um why did I almost look like my dog so jellyfish if you want to see what they are up to um, to get some special, some magical candy, some great herbs and stuff. Um, you can look at their Instagram is J-E-L-L-Y-P-H-I-S-H-F-E-E-L-S. -E -E so that's Jellyfish Fuels. So yes, just go to their link and you will see all the special things that they have to offer. But that is another uh bbw so that was like a whole bunch of bbws all in one so i didn't even know i was going that deep into it but we here so yeah so that was an awesome experience like i can't even be mad at it i had a really good time um yeah and i probably got some more but i can't think of the others um so yes yeah, yeah that was what i did this past week two weeks ago i don't know y'all I'll be forgetting. I'll just be moving, being about. Um, dang, I can't see what I put down here. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to get into um, BBW. I mean, <laughs> okay. I'm going to take a break and be right back. All right, y'all. All right, y'all. And I'm back. <laughs> I take a break, make sure I was on the right outline that I was reading. So we go get into some TV. Um, movies and TV. One, I gotta shout out some two Netflix, I guess, series movies. Um, again, that was just like black created, created by blacks. <laughs> um so yeah, so the first one is um yeah, I don't know who was the director, but I just know Kid Cudi was a part of it. It was the Intergalactica. That was very great. Um, I don't know the right photog right um you know, like word to use, but um because I was gonna say cine cinemography. <laughs> but like um the graphics. The graphics were freaking awesome. Like, and the storyline was really good too. And it was just like seeing like black love in a yeah, it was a cartoon, but you know, it was one of those growing up um cartoons. And it was just showing them being very artsy, like with their art. Cause usually when they show like a struggling artist or something that's black they not making it for themselves you know what i mean and then they show two uh black people a man and a woman that's literally just artists in their own ways and they're making it um for themselves you know like making a name for themselves in the art world and i really like that concept of showing that as well um and also allowing them to come back together you know when they finally figure out the bullshit that they was on but it was really amazing and then to hear all the different uh people when you try to figure out who's that talking uh because it was a uh, kid cuddy what's his name um with the brace ty dollar signs um i think it was that uh, the the main lady she's an up-and-coming actress i can't think of her name but let me look it up real quick 
so I won't be just going out the back of my neck. So yeah, so Jessica Williams, that's her name. She was great. Carmen was Laura Harrier. Harrier. Um. Well, Macaulay Culkin was in here. I didn't even know. They got Jaden Smith was in here. Vanessa Hutchins, Keith David. Yeah, I did hear Tiana Taylor on there for sure. Um, Louis Gus Guzman. Okay, so yeah, that cast was a great cast. Um, of course, the music was bomb. I knew that was Kid Cudi all over, and I'm not gonna lie. I want to say that was Kid Cudi and um, like Kid Cudi and Nas, somebody he had on there that was just like wow to hear him. I have to see who all was like included on the album, but yeah, y'all definitely should watch it. Uh, watch it. Um, uh, I guess the kids could watch it, but you still should, you know, monitor what they're watching, anyways. Uh, so yeah. And then the other one, this one, though, kids can watch is um, Window and Wild. Oh my gosh, this was like I did not know what to expect, but this was a great as well because it's literally like allowing black people to experience. Or to see, yeah, to experience seeing their sales on TV and as cartoons. So usually when they do like animations of black people, we're like an animal or something. You know what I mean? Or we're like dead already. So we don't get to <laughs> have a real uh, body and stuff like that. So it was just really great to see. Um, yeah, so the black girl, I love it. She just had her black girl attitude, like, don't fuck with me. I've been through some shit. Like, you know I'm hard, but I got a heart, something like that. And it really just showed just, because I think I teared up on them. Um, Yeah, I teared up on both of them. That's how good it was. But I have been just emotional lately, my feels. But it's all good, because that's how good they are, though. Because y'all know I don't cry like that, but I do cry on shows, though, on my on my TV, I'll be watching. Um, but yeah, no, it was really great. Um, Cause like basically the little girl, um, her parents had died in a car accident and she felt like it was her fault that her parents died. Y'all see my bubble sticking out? Trying to tell me something. Um, but yeah, so she felt like it was her fault. So she, you know, usually kids think it's their fault. Oh, I ain't tell y'all. It was by our new, like, producer, uh, director, Jordan Peele. And it was so cool because he had his longtime buddy. Um, cause I, get, I don't know the difference. Uh, Key and Peele. Key. <laughs> Keegan. He had him on there as well. They were both, like, the two. They were window and wow. And the little girl, Konika, was played by Lyric Ross. She could be a great star, up and coming young lady. So I definitely can't wait to see who else they. Yeah, I did hear Ben Grains. He was the dad, like the devil, I believe. Um, yeah, I saw Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett was a fighting nun, so that was bomb to hear. You know, it's like she just back to back bomb as like y'all give her her freaking props and her awards that she deserved even though we don't care about them awards but still give it to her because she be giving what y'all don't be giving you know what i mean still she was a fighting uh nun over here and it was just really good uh let me see the overview so yeah so she just felt like it was her fault that her parents died and then these demons um kind of got clung onto her like marked her just like oh you're you're bad so you're gonna you know we're gonna take you down with us and like basically they was like oh we can bring back your parents if you do this for us basically and yeah it was a good story it's like and her parents did come back so yeah sure watch it it was pretty great um but it was good because it was like sci-fi anime animation like but black and it was good to see that you know and the um it was uh they did the animation where it's like the play-doh type of feel so like it's play-doh but also they did do some cgi in there too but it was just it was great like kudos of course oh the director was henry sleek and it was okay it was produced by jordan peele and of course by his 
um what is it monkey paw studios is what it is i love that even though it's scary i, I, I like his the was the monkey with the cup <laughs> the teacup so yeah so it was really good let's see so how long did it take to, oh how long did window take to make oh they just say how long it is it's an hour 45 minutes i'm just sure but yeah y'all should definitely check it out for the old and young y'all gonna love it it's great definitely good for the family to watch and then yeah no i got to talk about wakanda forever y'all i was crying at the black panther wakanda forever premiere movie i went on thursday at six o'clock in this pack y'all I did not expect to be tearing up. First, I was like, oh, okay, I felt like the tears coming, like, at the intro. Yeah, I gave y'all no time at the intro, you know, when they show all the different pictures of him and they, he make the name of Marvel, I think, and then, you know, it turned into Black Panther. Um, so, yeah, so I was like, oh, you know, seeing all that, and it was, like, quiet, like, dead silence, like, like giving, you know, paying respect. So, I was like, okay. So, I was like, okay. I thought that that was it i just thought that it was like okay yeah here you go we're gonna give him his props and that was it i was like oh, okay i was like i'm not gonna cry i thought i was about to be crying i would i yeah i kid i kid myself i was like i thought that was it no you cry all the way through the whole movie like I was went to like studio movie grill, so I was eating while I was there. So I'm sitting there had my napkins for my food. I had to use them for my tears. Like I was like, and I didn't feel bad after I heard the lady next to me sniff. I was like, oh fuck it, I don't care no more. The tears are coming down. Like, and I know the I don't know if it was a little girl, but I'm gonna say it was somebody next to me. She was looking at me, and I know I was like talking to the screen. Oh, what am I saying? I was like yes but it was wonderful um and i would think i want to do another um i think i want to talk about it more in depth when i go watch it again because i just i remember but then i also watched it in 3d um so i want to watch it regular so i can just you know really see that see everything um but yeah, yeah, I was crying. Like, y'all should see my video I posted after. I was just like, yeah, y'all better go see this shit. Like, yeah, like, if you really, um, like, on your healing journey and you're like, okay, about to find out who you are and where you come from, this movie definitely makes you feel that feels them good those good feels like yeah that's my people like definitely the water scene like my um orisha is yamaja and so um man the water scenes was just like i felt at home like oh my gosh like i was like i was like are the mayans my people too like i felt so at home with them like that's why I can't wait to figure out where the hell I come from. Like, that's why I do want to do that African ancestry. But that shit, like, $300. And I was like, I could spend $300 on something else. But, I, you know, I'm going to spend that $300, y'all. I'm going to spend it. Unless I figure, find out another way to find out where I come from. Or, oh, that man that be, that black man that be on TV. But he might be more expensive than $300. I don't know. Maybe I'll meet him and he just do it for me. Anyways, but yeah, but um, that water scene just made me feel so close to my yaya. Like, <sighs> it was just like breathtaking, like speechless. Like, it was just like, oh my gosh, like, Ryan, Ryan, you did a good job, dude. Like, you made, you made Chadwick proud, like, when he with what the results of everything and you can just see the emotions in the movie like <sighs> i don't know how they do it but those people better get some fucking awards too because they acted their asses off like and that's why we go give it up again for our black queen for our queen angela bassett like She's been my queen since I watched, um, <laughs> what's the fucking movie? Uh, American Dream. 
the Jackson 5 American Dream, she was my hero then, and she was also my hero on uh, What's Love Got to Do With It. Baby, she can act her ass off. Like, what? What? How you, how you die a great fucking scene like that? I was tearing up when she died. I was like, damn, because I'm like, damn, you know, thinking about my mama. But it was just so. <sighs> yeah, I'm definitely going to see it again. I'm probably going to see it again and again and again. Um, Yeah, I might even like buy it, y'all. Like, but. It should be available on uh, Disney Plus, but I don't know how long they're going to make us wait for us to see it. But hopefully, it's been a week. They usually take two weeks. Well, maybe about a month. But when they put the whole uh, movie on there for free instead of making us buy that shit. Like, why are we going to buy it when we just going to go to the movie for cheap? But that was COVID times back then. But anyway, go watch Wakanda Forever, Black Panther, all the feels, all the feels. So, um, while we're talking about all the feels, I do want to give a, um, y'all hear them dogs? Bad ass dogs? I gotta go. I should go bring them in. It's getting cold now. Just letting them have a time outside. Um, but, um, I don't want to say, oh, rest in paradise. Um, take off. Um. Yeah, that was pretty pretty sad to see, especially when he was, you know, in my neck of the woods when they were celebrating somebody's, yeah, they were celebrating. And, um, yeah, this is really an unfortunate situation. Um, and I don't want to be like, I mean, what do you expect? But also... That's not how the world should be, but also that is how the world is. So that's what comes with it. So yeah, but I just want to just give my respect because um, everybody been saying, it, and as I've always said before, takeoff was the um he was the one that held it to get to held it together for the Migos. Um, based just based on their different rapping styles and what connected them three and I feel like this is going to be a great loss to um, Offset and Quavo meaning depending on how they take this um, off this situation that happened to their brother Depending on how they take it and how they, um, really just how they heal from it going forward is really going to determine, um, I guess what we see or get from them, um, whenever they're ready to come out, if they ever do come back out, cause they, damn, he was, he think he's younger than me. So it was like, he didn't even get to be that 33, like get to live your life. I mean, but he did. Um, cause like they probably don't even have to rap if they don't want to, you know what I mean? Um, but I do hope that they will be able to come to some understanding or whatever was the mist. And, um, because if their, um, label was really like a family, then everything else should have matter after this, you know what I mean? Like. Say what's real. If you go fuck with it or not. But respectfully, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's it. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, and then I'm gonna get on some other career. I don't know. I'll just say y'all heard about Chris Brown. Um, that situation is a little tricky for me because one again, I don't be in the the AMA media or that's not who be popping up on my screen so it's like I don't care um but it's like dang you do that to somebody like you know they be putting in work to practice for this shit that they don't get paid for I don't believe they get paid to perform at these award shows um 
and then you tell the dude that he can't perform they say two days and now this i'm just say this all allegedly because i don't know um the full story that's why i'm not gonna go too deep in it but um just from those details because usually like when i listen to other podcasts and they be talking about shit that they don't know the full details or haven't gotten gotten the additional details on and they be like going off on people not knowing the full story i'd be like y'all just sound like some old people so that's why i'm not gonna go too deep into it but i'm just gonna just say all this stuff to say it's a tricky situation because you know um you know i guess the the times that we're in is canceling people and what chris brown um did years ago with rihanna did to rihanna that was I believe one of the start to um cancellate cancellations cancellations of people um meaning that we didn't hear from Chris Brown for a minute so now that I guess um Rihanna I guess you know allowing him to be around her again why wouldn't we allow you know, it's like the fans or the people got to understand, like, if she forgave him, then we got to forgive him, too. But then again, I don't know what Chris Brown may have did to the AMAs. I don't know what the AMAs did to Chris Brown. I don't know. But it's all around some fuck shit um, on both parties. Because um, it's like, yeah, you can forgive, but don't forget. Um, but also, if you can forgive, you do have to move forward. You know what I mean? But don't forget. So either you're gonna move forward and allow him to perform or you gotta stick to that rule for everybody. You know what I mean? Cause it's a lot of people that be on the AMA stage says I'm not gonna say yeah, I'm gonna say do it much worse or did the same thing that Chris Brown did, you know what I mean? And they still performing all the time. Anyway, so yeah, so that's that. So since this is, I'm recording this, I think it's now would be the day before the, this day that we um, have a uh, a work day off. So that day, the holiday that's on the 24th, is that what it is? Yeah, the, the holiday's on the 24th. That's coming up. So it's the day before that day. And I guess I just want to talk about a little about Thanksgiving. Because Thanksgiving, I love Thanksgiving. Like, I really did love Thanksgiving and being around family, eating, being around family, you know, that the cousin hang out, go smoke, <laughs> have the great smoke sessions, y'all. Like, man, we used to be like just, you know, we're in the country, so we got all the time and all the feels to do whatever we want to do. So, yeah, it was a good time. Um, but I do miss those times, and I was like, dang. I can't wait till we get older and, you know, can do the same thing and go out and shit. But things change. Life happens and you just start to realize that the things you once know are not the same. Or they always been the same, but you just now realizing it now um, as an adult, I guess. You know what I mean? And... It's okay, but it's different. So that's, and I'm saying it because now this Thanksgiving, how I said all that, now it's like, I don't want to be around people that I don't want to be around. Because it's like, I'd rather protect my peace, I'd rather protect my sanity, and I'd rather not um deal with something that I don't want to deal with or deal with somebody I don't want to deal with you know I'm not here to fake it because Amber can fake it but for how long then that's why Amber just be quiet that's why I just be quiet so it's like I don't want to do that I want to be me and do me so I honestly don't even know what um, I'm doing for Thanksgiving this year. Well, I said, well, I thought I was going to be out of town. But, I don't know. I feel like I just need to stay in since I'm going to be um, going on my trip Damn, next week, huh? Yeah, I'm going on my trip next week. So, I was like, yeah, let me chill, rest, and then I get cuckoo for the cocoa next week for my trip. 
Um, so yeah, so I was like, I had already planned not to be in town to do any family stuff. And now I was like, I honestly don't even know what the family is doing on either side of my family. So, because I'm not really fucking with anybody right now, family-wise, probably except for my brother and my cousins. Some of my cousins. <laughs> it's real, y'all. It's real. And, yeah, I'm starting to realize that, like, damn, I'm a real adult. Like, I, and, like, because everybody else got their families, you know? My family is me and Leo and Fatty right now. And, and my brother, you know what I mean? And Milo, <laughs> that's my family. Um, So, yeah, so I was like, I'm going to just cook for myself and have me a good, relaxing time. I mean, and if the family, if somehow some people come over here, I'm going to be probably in this room or gone somewhere. Um, But I was thinking about, because I always wanted to do this, but we always be out of town or people come over. Um, But I'm thinking about volunteering because that's, I always want to do that, so I'm like, I'm gonna do it. I always want to volunteer on Thanksgiving. Yeah, yeah, I know I'd be doing my giving back whenever I don't got posted. But yeah, so I'm thinking about doing that. Um, so of course, uh, the food. Is it a food bank? Houston Food Bank. Yeah, Houston Food Bank. Um, I like doing stuff with them. So seeing what they got going, or I'm gonna just see who doing something locally. Um. So yeah, so I just want to say times are different. I guess I'm getting grown, getting older, um, and I really just want peace. Like <laughs> that's the thing. I just want peace. Like it's no ill will. It just is what it is. I want my peace. Hope you want your peace too. So do what you do, and I'm gonna do it with me. I said I'm gonna do me. I'm gonna do me me. I'm gonna do me. So talking about this trip, y'all, I'm excited. Um Hank and I had a little hiccup with the trip, but not like the trip, but just what um I had originally had planned in my head. And some things, you know, kinda went south in which I was like, see? That's why I like to travel by myself or do things my way because I don't want to have to sacrifice what I want to do because of something else. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. And it's like, right now I'm just dealing with it because I'm like, I know regardless, Amber always have a good time no matter the situation. Whether it goes left, I'm going to still figure out a way to make it go some way good for me to have a good time i know that's gonna happen i know that the end result i'm gonna have a good ass time and have a great story to give y'all when i come back though it didn't it's not going how um, i planned it to go in my head and and it gets times like that when i'm just like i get like I guess you can say bratty, like, daddy's girl energy princess, like, because that is what I am. I mean, that is what I am. It's like, I know who I am, but I also, at least I know I can, um, what is it called? Um, acknowledge that. You know, like, I know I'm feeling this way because of this, 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 and that. Like, at least I can know it. It's just getting myself out that mood, because it's like, nah. I need to feel this feelings, even though I don't want to, because I know I'm going to be feeling something different later. It's crazy how the mind works, you know what I mean? But, yeah. So, that's just a little hiccup, but I know it's going to be all good, all gravy. I'm actually about to start picking out some outfits now while I'm just thinking about it, so I won't be last minute packing. Because um, I'm still trying to figure out, like, I'm going on a cruise in December to Mexico. It's like, so I know it's going to be warm, but like when you're on the cruise leaving Galveston, like, and it's, it's going to be cold as shit, right? Because we're going to be flying on the water and it's going to be straight water, no land for a day or two. So like, and it's going to be cold. So I don't know to dress warm or just, like, you know, a cold or what. So I was thinking like, what if I dress warm? cute warm 
like <laughs> they have like long sleeve but like have like my butt belly out and stuff you know have like some little boobies showing but like warm <laughs> so i was thinking of doing that um but i'm excited um because i can't wait to go snooba again so it's not scuba it's not S C U B A is S N U B A, and the difference between that, I guess, so I guess it's like, I guess it would be like snorkeling and scuba put together, cause you don't be like at the surface level, you be like at the bottom of the ocean when you do snuba, and that. Me and my brother did that when we did our first cruise, and that was so fucking amazing, y'all. Y'all like, so I was like, dang, I could like we were trying to explain it to our parents when we got out the water. It was just like so hard, like you just had to be there. Like we literally seeing fish pass us by while we still swimming down and stuff. Like I think we was at a sh- like a shipwreck too that we passed by, and everything is like different signals you have to learn and too, so he so he can like you know tell you to continue going or stay and you're doing this all underwater like it was an dang how many was maybe 10 of us 10 12 of us and me and my brother was like the only black people too y'all so i was like ain't gonna lie y'all i was nervous as hell but i'm sitting there trying to say stay uh save a face with my brother because you know big sister i gotta i know he may be scared too so i can't you know be scared and he not want to do it so <laughs> I had to put on my big sister face on, you know? But I was scared of shit because I was like, I wasn't tripping about the water and all that. My thing was they were like the breathing part, the breathing machine that they give you because they do give you like air to, you know, hold in your mouth and breathe. But I was just like, how do you fucking breathe with something in your mouth? But then you, you get used to it and understand it once you, you know, put it in your mouth. But I was just like, man, what if I take the wrong breath? And I like just get water in my mouth and I'm all the way this deep and all this. So yeah, so that part I was scared of. But once you get under there and you see just blue, <laughs> like what blue, clear, like it was just so nice, different coral reefs. So I think we did it. I think we did the um Snuba in the Cayman Islands. So like the Cayman Islands, you can't even like come up close to their shore because they have like protected coral reefs that you like can't fuck with. Like, cause you know, you gotta protect sea life. So like, yeah, even our ship had to like dock further out and we had to walk this long, <laughs> this wrong bridge to get onto the island. But yeah, it was so freaking amazing. So I um, said I'm doing that again. Like I know I should try something else, but I said the next time I'm able to do that, I am going to do it and I'm doing shit. <laughs> and so I'm doing it this trip. Um, so I'm excited. Um, yeah, because and this time was a couple, they had a camera, and I'm gonna get my waterproof camera this time so I can have my pictures ready. Oh, hopefully I can find a GoPro. I guess I I ain't got time. I don't should spend no money. We'll see if I can find me something. <gasps> I may go to that that uh place that be selling shit for like seven dollars five dollars three dollars two dollars one dollar like on different days i may go over there and see what they got shake that ass let me see what you got all right y'all so that's it i just had to check up on y'all give y'all some updates um if y'all want to get a facial hit me up so i would be available you know gotta get your skin right for the cold weather and so you can look cute and stun on everybody for thanksgiving for the holidays you know what i'm saying um because now rose leo aesthetics is leaning towards more holistic um spiritual skincare services so all that means is just now when i'm giving your facial i would be more um in tune with your money your body mind and soul all at once while also making sure that your skin is also flawless and in the same balance as your body mind and soul so yeah so just hit me up if you want to try out my new services um or if you have any questions that is at rose leo aesthetics that is r-o-s-e-l-e-o-e-s-t-h-e-t-i-c-s 
And if you just want to go to my page, my person page to go look at to book, <laughs> and that'd be easier. You can go to my Instagram at I am a P Rose. That is I A M A P R O S E. Right, y'all get that? Okay, y'all. But thank y'all again. Enjoy y'all day that we have off, cause I'm not calling it what it is, cause it's not. Or Indigenous Day that they now allowed us to give us that. Um, but yeah, y'all.